this section I'm going to explain a simple configuration for dynamic multipoint VPN connection between a hub and two branch sites and I just showed them using three different routers. This is going to be my router 1 and router 2 is going to be my hub and router 3 is going to be one of my spokes or better to name it like this for example this is router 1 this is router 2 and this is router 3 let's have some connection between these they are connected to my hub my hub is router 1 and so this is going to be my hub so when router 2 and router 3 want to connect to each other they do not have a direct connection and, and they need to go through router 1 so they are actually creating a virtual connection that goes through router 1 but they assume that they are connected to each other so this is kind of a VPN tunnel through router 1 but these two uh, see this uh, transparently so what steps do I need to take to reach to this point? I need to go through four steps. First of all, I want to configure the hub. Then I will go to configure the spokes. Then I may use IP security. This uh, this part is optional. I'm not going to go through that. So, so if you want to uh, configure security between these two branches, you are going to configure, for example, IPsec on your router as I told you this is optional I'm not going to do that and finally I'm going to run a routing protocol or configure a static route I'm going to configure a static route because that's simpler in this very simple example here so let's just start the uh, topology I'm going to make sure that what I am adding to my GNS3 environment supports DM VPN so I go for version 15 of iOS. This is my 7200 series router for router 1. This is router 2, one of the spokes, and this is router 3, the other spokes. And when I'm configuring this, fast 00 is going to connect to fast 00 of router 2, and fast 01 is going to connect to fast 01 of router 3. And this is my configuration. That's it. I'm not going to extend it. So let's just start the routers. By starting, I go to console. Let's start the console. Let's go back here. Go to console. And again, this is going to open the console up here. As I told you, router one, the the hub is going to be configured first. We need to take some steps. First of all, I want to add some interfaces and configuration for the interfaces because it's hasn't been configured yet and I'm not going to be so uh, complex here so I interface fast 0, 0 is going to have an IP address of 10 10 12 1 this connects to router 2 and no shot interface fast 0, 1 connects to router 3 so IP address is going to be something like this and no shut. Now I'm going to have a loopback interface here. Interface loopback 0 and IP address is going to be 1111255255255 and finally I'm going to run a routing protocol so that the loopback interface of the hub can reach the loopback interface of the the spoke interfaces so I can go for OSP for EIGRP doesn't matter which one you select I go for EIGRP no auto summary and the network is going to be 10 10 12 1 and of course 1 1 1 1 that's it this is the configuration of my writing protocol so save the pro the configuration. Let's go to router 2. Here I have one interface, fast 0, 0. IP address is going to be 10, 10, 12, 2. No shot. And I have a loopback interface that has an IP address of 2, 2, 2, 2. And of course, I'm going to run router EIGRP1. No auto summary. 
network 2222 and network 101012. That's it. This is the configuration. Okay, let's save this here. And on router 3, I have interface fast 01 connected to fast 01 of router 1. So IP of this is going to be 10.10.13.3 with no shot. I have a loopback interface. IP of this is going to be 3.3.3.3. And I'm going to run router EHGRP1 here. No other summary. Did I use no other summary on router 2? I forgot. Uh, yes, I did it. Network is going to be 3333 and network is going to be 10.10.13.3 and save the configuration. Now there is going to be another adjacency between this router and router 1. I do not see the adjacency, so let's check the configuration. Show IP interface seems brave, tells me that interfaces are up and up. And let me ping 10, 10, 13, 1. It is not reachable. No, it is reachable, so you can reach to that. Show IP, EIGRP interfaces. I have fast 01, but I do not see any peer on this. So let's go to router 2 and make sure that I have added. Oh, yes, I haven't added and, and, and router 1. Router 1, I haven't added network for this interface. So I go for rather EIGRP1 and I add 10, 10, 13, 1 and that's it. Okay. Now I see the adjacency. This is a basic configuration of interfaces. So let's go to rather 1 and create the tunnel interface. So to create the tunnel interface, I type interface tunnel 1, 2, 3, for example. Huh? because we have router 1, 2, and 3. This is just a name. You can name it whatever. So on here, I'm going to have a tunnel mode. The tunnel mode, let me go for tunnel source first. The tunnel source is going to be, for example, loopback 0, because I'm going to use loopback 0 as the source. Uh, Let's go for tunnel mode. Now, right now we have different types of tunnel modes. You can see a list of tunnel modes here. And the one that I use is tunnel mode GRE. And under GRE we have multipoint. This is what we are going for. And under multipoint, nothing. I hit enter. We have so tunnel mode going to be GRE multipoint. As soon as I type this, you can see the tunnel is coming up. Okay. Now I need to configure the VPN part. For this, I type IP next hub resolution protocol. I guess this is NHRP, next hub resolution protocol. And it has some uh, options. I can go for authentication. For example, I just type uh, my name for the authentication. I can go for mappings and what I'm going to map is a multicast so you can use multicast you can use single destination but I'm using multicast because this is the best idea to configure uh, a dynamic VPN and you can see that this is going to be dynamically configured that I can use a non-broadcast multi-access address I'm not going to use NBMA I just type dynamic and finally uh, I need to have a network ID. IP NHIP network ID, mm, for example, 1. That's okay. So this is the configuration in router 1. So let's check this. Show running config of interface tunnel 1, 2, 3. We have, uh, first of all, the tunnel mode. Tunnel mode is GRE multipoint. We have network ID, the network ID is 1. We have a mapping with multicast and that's going to be dynamically created for us and we have an authentication set here. This is a configuration on the hub but on spokes 
we have uh, quite a bit more configuration. 